All right, folks. So today we're going to be looking at a weird algorithm uh, from the CSS uh, problem set. So let's go ahead and read the instruction. Consider an algorithm that takes as an input a positive integer n. If n is even, the algorithm divides it by 2. And if n is odd, the algorithm multiplies it by 3 and, and adds 1. The algorithm repeats this until n is 1. For example, the sequence for n equals 3 is as follows. And he starts from 3. He multiplies by 3. So it goes up to 9. Plus 1 will give us 10. 10 is an even number. So divided by 2 will give us 5. 5 is an odd number. So multiplied by 3 gives us 15. Plus 1, 16. And now 16, since it's the power of 2, we're essentially going to be dividing by 2 every time since we're going to be reaching uh, an even number, OK? And then we reach 1, and uh, the algorithm terminates. Your task is to simulate the execution of the algorithm for a given value of n. And the input is the only input line contains an integer n. Print the line that contains all values of n during the algorithm. So the only thing we need to do is to output this sequence here, nothing else. And n is small enough for us to be able to execute this in one second. So if we need uh, a constant time to calculate uh, each step, uh, we should be able to do this in, uh, in, in less than one second, OK? And for input equals to 3, he just outputs 3, and then he does the calculations that we have seen above, OK? So let's look at the solution here. So as you can see, I got this accepted. And here I'm developing, in this function here, I'm developing the solution, OK? Uh, the other things are just a part of my of the template that I'm using, OK? So we declare an integer, which I call n. We read this integer. And then we have a simple while loop here, OK? So until we reach uh, number 1, we're going to be executing this while loop. Uh, in the case that we have uh, the number which is equal to 1, it means that we are terminating. And we just output 1 here and the end line to finish the sequence of numbers, OK? Um, so in the general case, though, we're going to be executing the while loop. So what do we do in this while loop? It's simply well, we output n and a space here, OK? And then we use this one line here to execute the algorithm, essentially. So what, what I'm doing here in the first parenthesis that you can see is n modulo 2. So this is used to check the parity of my number. So if my, if my number is a, an odd number, this will be equal to 1. Otherwise, this will be equal to 0. So how this format of an if statement works is that uh, after this, after the question mark, I will get the solution which evaluates, I will get the case where this is evaluated as true. So this will be evaluated as true only when we have an odd number, because then uh, odd number module 2, OK, that will give us 1 as the answer, OK? So for the for the odd numbers, as we have read from this action, we just multiply the number by 3, and then we simply add 1, OK? So this value here will now be stored into n, OK? This is the assignment operation. Um, so this will go in, uh, inside n, OK? In the other case, where we have an even number, so this value is to 0, we are going to accept, we're going to, um, we're going to evaluate this line here as the part that comes after the colon, OK? So after the colon here, I have n divided by 2. Uh, and that's the operation that we are doing with even numbers, OK? So these two simple steps, multiply by 3 plus 1 when it's uh, odd, and divide by 2 when it's even, OK? So it's it's nice to learn to use these kind of formats uh, when, uh, when you have uh, multiple if statements. So this is a small program, of course. But in bigger um, programs, it's good for you to learn to use these kind of if statements. Uh, regardless, if you use this or not, you can just have an if statement here, an if and else statement, and you can solve this problem as well. This is a very, um, this is a very easy uh, introductory problem. So I hope uh, I helped you in the case that you got stuck on this one. OK, and I will see you in the next one.